All right, so Kabaka. What's up? We're in London right now. You're currently on your UK tour. Yes. How is it going? How are you feeling in the UK, love? I feel like we're, we're, we're brought the Jamaica heat with us. Yeah, I, mean, I, I literally feel like I'm in Jamaica right now. <laughs> it's nice, so yeah, thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, people seem to appreciate it some, but some can't manage the heat. But yeah, it's nice. Performing some of the new material yeah, off of the going album. Down? It's going really good. Yeah, and it's everybody. always hard playing new material, I find, like, because yeah. obviously everyone wants to go see the hits and it exactly. must be hard. Uh, sorry, it must be hard performing a song yeah. when nobody knows the words. And stuff. But that's the thing, it's like, I guess with social media now, it's like when we put out the new material and we really promote it, it's like people get to hear it from early. Yeah. You know, so a lot yeah. of people actually requesting some of the new songs. You it's know, a but treat. yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it actually it adds a spice to the show. You know, but it take when you have a live band, it takes time to really like groove a song like you know the song like the back of your hand yeah. so sometimes it's like we're working all the kinks with the new material you know Have but you the words no, no 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 <laughs> <laughs> No, I mean, I do have a lot of songs, so every now and then I might forget a line. But, and then you, you just know? say it to the audience, do you know the words? And just let them do it. Exactly. Okay. I use sometimes when I, forget, when I forget lines, I just start freestyling. Yeah, fair. And you know, just make up some stuff there. Well, that, yeah, helps being a lyrical genius, I suppose. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Now, obviously, there's a really strong connection between Jamaica and the UK. Of course. But what's, like, your favourite thing about being over here? Why do you love the UK? It's a good question. I mean, I always get a good vibe when I'm in London. I think that it feels like it feels like a first world version of Jamaica, kind yeah, of. Yeah, you know, it's it's very similar in some ways, but very different in others. Yeah. You know, like when I think about how Jamaica is with the, the road system, very confusing and stuff, and then I come to London, I see why. You know, because it's like so much more confusing here, you know? Yeah. But it's still nice and, you know, the people really connected to the music. And, you know, you're walking around, you're hearing Jamaican accents everywhere you go and you just kind of feel at home. Yeah, like especially a, here in West London as well. Exactly, exactly. Presence, isn't there? For sure, for sure. How's the uh, British accent coming along? It's not, it's not that good. You giving it a little, have you given it a little sample yet? <laughs> I try it, but I can't really. <laughs> if I try it, I'm going to embarrass myself. Yeah, try it. Well, I'll give you a phrase and then you see if you can do it. We'll yeah. say, um, yeah, man's just, man's just chilling in Bloomberger, don't know. Man's just chilling in Bloomberger, don't know. Fine, there we go. That's <laughs> what, I mean, I'll give you a solid four out of ten. But, hey, <laughs> it's better than zero, mate. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Four, really? We'll work on Four, it. you go. You're, yeah. You we, we work on it. Yeah, you we'll work on it. <laughs> <laughs> I see you, you trying to give me a little props, but I mean, yeah. You still got a couple more days on the tour, so yeah, true. Uh, we'll I'll test try. you at the end. When I yeah, see you there, in summer jam, but I'll there's test so you. many different accents yeah, even that's true. in that's London. True. Even in London, yeah. And then when you talk about like. Birmingham accent yeah, and yeah, then... taking it to a whole, a whole it's other level. crazy, level. yeah. <laughs> so nice. what is your like daily mantra? What do you try and tell yourself every day to keep yourself motivated? Another good question. Thanks. Um, <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Well, there, there, there are certain times in life where I might have a little fear about something. Mm. Like... Like say you dip on a long flight and you start to wonder like, yo, I'm up in the air so long and kind of get a little scared or whatever. But I just tell myself that I'm on a mission. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like what I'm doing with the music, for me it's very important to, to the, the whole world spectrum right now. And I'm bridging the gap between, you know, ancient spiritual cultures and realities and, and where we're going forward in terms of you know, modernization and, and technology and everything. So I try to I try to bridge those gaps with the music and the stuff that I talk about and the stuff that I read about. So I feel like I'm on a mission and when you're on a mission you, there's always guidance and protection. Yeah. I like you know? that. Now I think anybody who listens to your music will know it's very clear that hip hop is a huge influence in your flow, your sound, sure. and your lyricism. Yes. So what who do you think which rappers do you think would be best placed on a track? Like right now? Right now, yeah. 
I mean, there's some, there's some rappers even here in the UK, like I met, I met Swiss the other day, mm -hmm. and um, I really like man like Stanzi, yeah. them, them yes. man they are going wicked, you know. Yeah, uh, I think, have you heard of JME? Jamie, no. JME. Jamie. Jamie. That sounds familiar, yeah. Yeah, so he's like one of the OG sort of okay. grand artists, but, and he's Skepta's brother, but he's very much a respected okay. artist in his own right. Yeah, but see. he's quite conscious. I know about Skepta too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I would love work with someone more conscious man than for real. Of course, Kranix do a couple collabs with Joey. Mm -hmm. Joey Badass, yeah. and yeah. You know, definitely respect what them young boys are doing and other thing, you know? Let's talk debut album. Yes. So we know it's called Contraband. We've heard one track from it so far. Yeah, Can't Breathe, yes. Can't Breathe, which is amazing. It's done. What's, what's the sort of general message that you want to get with this album? Because it's your first so one. The whole thing, people ask me why we name it Contraband. Yeah. And that when you think of Contraband, you think of like stuff that bans substances and like. You think of weapons, you think of like drugs, you think of all those kind of things and things that generally you're not supposed to be dealing with, you know what I mean? And yeah. we feel like the consciousness and the type of messages in reggae music is treated like contraband now, like yeah. you're not supposed to have it, like everything else is being pushed, right. you know what I mean? So there's this kind of, this oxymoron kind of vibe going on when it comes to the negative and positive, and what's supposed to be pushed and what's not being pushed. So it's like we're kind of playing on the word contraband and <clears throat> it has like a militant kind of aspect to it. You know, when you think of contra and I remember we used to play this game named Contra back in the day on like Nintendo. We like this soldier who had, you know what I mean? So there's this militant aspect in the music as well and yeah. we're trying to bring out all of that and just really shed some light on things that maybe people not talking about. How are you feeling with this whole process? Because you know, a lot of people say with your debut album, that is, you know, the album that you spend your whole life kind of working towards. Yeah, what is the yeah. one with the most pressure? Are you feeling is, like nervous to get it out? Or are you feeling like you just want to hurry up and let everyone hear I mean, it? Right? I, I go through cycles. So, like, sometimes I'm like, yo, yo, we just need to get this out now. Because, like, yeah. you know, different things happen and you have so many creative minds in the process. Yeah. And it's like, even to come to certain decisions, it's like, I'm kind of impulsive. So I'm like, yo, let's do this now, kind of thing. And then we have to discuss it and we have to, you know what I mean? But it, it, it's a great process. And I learn a lot about music through the, the album making process. I learn a lot about myself and how I want people to perceive me as an artist. I mean, we, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm really excited about the project. What's yeah. the biggest thing that you learn from, from working with Demi Wally? Um, just the work ethic. Like, yeah. He's just non-stop yeah. making music. I've heard that, yeah. Who else are you working with then? Because I saw a picture of you with Protégé and yes. with um, Paris from Indignation slash Drum Keys. So, so, so Proto slash Drum Keys yeah. is going to be a production force in a reggae yeah. music. I yeah. can tell you that. Yeah, and I've heard quite a few of the tracks. Yeah, you know, Leela, um, Leela's yeah. track, biggest fan, so clean so and beautiful, mm. you know, big song, mm. excellent production. So, you know, he sent me a couple of tracks and I remember they got link him and him to play two tracks to me and I was like, yo, this mad. And then he was like, I have this other one. You know, I don't, I don't know if it's as good as, as the first two I played for you, but you might like it. Mm. And as in play it, I'm hear the hands them. I say, yo, better, <laughs> this is it. This is the one. Yeah, and I end up writing on it. And I link Pressure Bus Pike when he was in Jamaica and come around on my studio and I say, yo, this is the verse I have for this final chorus for me. Um, and finally, obviously, accurate is your thing. I need a thing. I need a. I need a tagline or like a. Different sign from off. deadly. Yeah, but I mean, I. I yeah. That, yeah. So deadly. Like, what's the? Yeah. Should I just start everything, every sentence? Yo. And everything deadly. I do. Deadly. Yeah, man. Deadly. You have to put a put a, a swag on it. Deadly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I can see that working. All right, I can thanks. We're sorted then.